Hello and welcome to our press tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to get Shopify formatted CSV and how to import those products in that CSV into a WooCommerce website as products. No matter how many variations per product do you have in that CSV, how many images per product do you have, the variations will be gone into the variation section in the WooCommerce. Uh, all the attributes will be uh, gone into the global attributes so you can use search and filter for WordPress. So for this uh, let me first show you how mm, and from where you can get the CSV from Shopify. So first of all you have to log into your Shopify website. So let's say here's my Shopify website. Click on uh, login. into your Shopify dashboard. The direct URL is admin.shopify.com. Let's add your email address or your username and click on continue with email. You can also log in with Google, Facebook or Apple ID if you have. Give your password, login. Once you're successfully logged in to your WooCommerce, uh, sorry, Shopify store, you have to go to the products section, click on products and on the top of that list you have an export button. Please remember to do exactly the same, click on all products and choose CSV for Excel, numbers or other spreadsheet programs. Do not use plain CSV file, click on export products and it will send the product link, the download link to your email address. So in my case, let me open my email and let's click on the link to download that CSV. Let's copy link or you can just open in the same browser, but let me open it here and the CSV will be downloaded. Now I have downloaded the CSV into a folder called CSV, WordPress Shopify CSV. So if I open this CSV, let me show you the format which I just downloaded from the Shopify website. And you can see here are some products, about four to five products, including all the variations. And you can see we have the color attribute, the main store color, and the length attribute, length color, and ships from so these are the attributes and let me show you how we can import them into our WordPress website I have a local setup WordPress let me just quickly log into that localhost slash WordPress Shopify and let's log into WP admin Now here I already added that plugin. Uh, let me show you how you can get this plugin which I am about to show you. Uh, it's called Shopify CSV to WooCommerce. And here's the menu for this. Uh, if you go there, there will be an upload button where you can directly upload this CSV file and click on upload and all these variation will start uploading into WooCommerce. Uh, so let me show you how uh, how my products page looking like now, how many products I already have. And after I add these CSV, let me delete them first because I do not need them. It's just a test website and I already added these products from an existing CSV from Shopify. So let me trash them and let me empty trash. Okay. Now I have an empty store with no products added at all. So let's just go to the add Shopify page again. I'll show you uh, how to get this plugin, uh, but let's just see uh, how you can use it. Okay, uh, here was the CSV file, the sample two. Let's double click and click on upload. 
and wait for it so it uploads and it gets each and every variation just like this it will count all these rows let me show you how many rows i have i have 93 rows it means 92 products or 92 variations actually so variation doesn't mean that all these are variations there are some images as well as you can see these are variations for this product but these are images these are just images there are no variations mentioned no prices but for these we have variations for the same slug or the same handle for this product this is actually the parent row and all these are images and then the variations so after going through all these 97 uh, sorry 93 rows it will be completed and let me show you at least one product must be added here or two and i'll show you uh, the product which is already completed with variations if it's a variable product okay this one is variable product because you can see there is a range of 106 to 164 but this one is 73 and i hope this will be a single a simple product yes this one is a simple product and this one is variable so it's 106 to uh, up till now it's 175 but it will be 580 after it completes let's refresh it okay this one is 580 so let's view this on the front end I'm using a default 2023 or 2022 theme, but there is no other thing installed except for the WooCommerce. So let me show you. You can see there are two variations, silver and gold. There is length, one length mentioned, and there is 580 price. So if I choose gold, 16, 18 inch, then you can see this one. Let's say silver and the image automatically changes because all these things are going into the right place so let me edit this and show you where are the attributes are going actually they are going to global attribute section which is in products attribute section here but if you go to the single product edit page go to attributes then you can see color and the values of these colors length and the values of the length similarly if you go to the variation section then these three variations are uh, two variations are already added gold with 18 inch and silver with 18 inch let me show you another example like this one let's just edit it the status is still in progress but let's see how much data we can see in the back end so in attributes we have that many colors and we have the main store rose gold if we open this product on front end let me show you how does it look like there is pink there is gold so rose gold gold butterfly and pink and you can see the price changing in real time and if you add to cart this same variation will go to the cart so uh, this is how these products with variations and multiple images are added let me show you the description as well these are tags these are categories actually this design is not uh, a perfect design this is a, just a default theme so don't worry about this how to, is, does it look like just look at the back end where categories are added the tags are already added into the perfect places similarly the gallery and the images are also added into perfect place so uh, now let me show you how you can get this plugin the shopify to csv zip just open a new tab and type import woocommerce.com press enter once you have this uh, no matter the design is uh, changed but you have to choose in the menu import plugins and choose this one Shopify to WooCommerce 
once you go to the product page shopify woocommerce uh, this is for 15 dollars usd uh, just click on add to cart or you can directly check out paypal so let's add to cart you can also watch video here to see how does it work but if you are um, watching my video right now this one which you are already watching then you are at the right place okay now fill in all these information and uh, click on proceed to PayPal after uh, putting these shipping and other thing. You can also use express checkout by going to PayPal but uh, if you go here you can uh, directly proceed to PayPal itself. If you have any question regarding the plugin you can just click on this messenger link and start chat but please remember to chat using your uh, real profile not just a guest because uh, that way we have a track record and we can reply you even after 24 hours but we will try to get back to you as soon as possible um, after getting this plugin you will be on the my account page once you are you purchase this plugin and log into the uh, site you just go to my account and on downloads page you will see uh, from where you can download that um, plugin once you download it just upload it to your wordpress go to your wordpress section plugin section and click on add new plugin and there uh, just click on upload plugin here and upload that zip file which you got from the my account page from this website and you are good to go so uh, i hope you learned something from today's video uh, please give this your thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you